What's going on guys, Big PB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna talk about tinfoil and we're gonna talk about the PSP emulator. All right guys, so you've been seeing the tutorials, which is great so far. We're gonna discuss tinfoil app and we're gonna be discussing the PSP app on this one specific video. Basically how to use it, I guess. That's the, probably the best way to do it. Let's start it off. Let's start off with the first one, which is tinfoil. If you've seen the videos before, I've explained what this app does. It basically gives you all the shop games that are on this system. I always blur out the server because the server is the biggest deal about this, not the app itself. So keep that in mind, okay? Big thing is that, as you can see, there are a couple of warning signs that will pop up. You could just skip them. It will either give you the option to okay or cancel. It doesn't matter what you do. Either way, it's gonna skip it. So once you skip out, you're gonna get this screen here. It's gonna show you the games that you currently have on your device. My main one that I focus on is this area here, which is new games and recommended games. Let's keep it simple. We'll start with recommended, it's pretty easy. Once you go here, you just go to the right, just so you could get rid of that box, that bar I should say. And now you can see some most recommended games. So this is kind of sporadic. This is kind of like the best sellers, I guess you could say. There's three different ways to view. If you hit the minus sign, we're in, we're in big block mode, big, big picture mode. If you hit the minus sign, you get small picture mode, and then one more time you get words. So it might be easier to read the words if you know your exact game title. But either way, you can kind of see it. Shows you some, again, this area specifically shows you kind of recommended best sellers. You might be looking for a specific game. If you are looking for a specific game, I do highly suggest that you go to new games. This is probably the best area to get the entire library. So right now, you can see that we're in this small picture mode. If I press again, the minus sign, we get small pictures. I should say that was big picture mode before. And then we have words. Um, if you press the start button, you could list or sort your games. I have mine set to release date. So the most recently released games are the first thing I see. If you are looking for a specific game title, you might as well go to name. If you go this right now, the touchscreen won't work. So you might have to use the D pad and then press A to assign the name. As you can see here, it starts out with this codes of zeros. You could then use your L2 and R2 to skip down. And as you can see, now we're in numbers, we're in A, we're in B, we're in C. I'm still in A, I'm sorry. B, C, D. So if you are looking for a specific game title, I highly suggest that you press the plus, sort it by name, and then look for your game that way. That is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, for example, we're gonna look at our favorite brothers and we're gonna see, actually no, there's a new, uh, the brothers made a new golf game. Let's see where we could find it. So it's either under super or it either starts with the letter M. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. And yes, that is the one I'm looking for. So if I press the minus sign, you could also see it in picture form. But as you can see, it's a little bit easier to kind of go by name and then go that way with it. Once I do have the game I want, I press A and then I press A again to install. I always leave these as no because while I play, it'll download. Big thing to keep in mind right now is that it is installing. Let it do its thing, let it install. You could press back or B, I should say, and go back to the menu. If you do that, you do have the download meter here. My biggest thing to stress with this is that you do not want to press the home button. Do not exit this app until that is done. If you hit the home button and you exit out, you've lost it. You have to now restart the download process. Keep that in mind, that is the biggest thing. But at least while it's downloading, you can now look for another game if you want. But again, me personally, I always have my list by recently released, and I'm just gonna go up. There is a little tiny speck here that you can see I'm basically in the middle of the list. I'm actually a little bit higher than the middle. Going up, going up, going up. 
I'm actually in the wrong one. I have it by release later. I'd rather do release again. And now this is the most recent released. And again, like I said, you do have your list here. So big thing is that if you do start another download, it's gonna download the first game you did first and then start the other one. These do not download at the same time. So just keep that in mind. And honestly, that is really how to use this app. There's not really much that you need from it. The big thing is that when it is done downloading, it will appear in two areas. It will appear in your installed. Or if you do hit the home button, it will appear here. The big thing to keep in mind though is that I just now exited by hitting the home button. It's still downloading here, but I did notice when I did this that it suddenly would download and finish the download in like 30 seconds. So I feel like I do break the download. I personally suggest that you do not exit the app like I just did. But there you guys have it. That is tinfoil tutorial. All right, now we're gonna discuss PSP. I forgot about that. We're gonna discuss PSP on this. So like I said in my last video, to go into PSP, you have to be on a game, not on tinfoil. You have to be on an actual game. Hold down R1 and then press A to launch. Keeping R1 pressed, it will bring up the back end. You could use either the D-pad or the left analog. I always launch this one, which is the GLES2. Once you have your game, press A, or I should say your PSP emulator, press A, and your emulator will start. Now again, there are a handful of PSP games that I have. I haven't tested all of mine, but I basically put a handful. My main focus was Grand Theft Auto. What's cool is that PSP launches with like the most recently played here. If you want to see your entire library, keep in mind this now, like we're so used to selecting with A, this now thinks it's a PSP, so now it's X, but it's not this device is X, it's X down here, like a real PSP. PSP, it's X, circle, triangle, square. Same thing in game, you're gonna see triangle, and it's obviously not here triangle, but you know, it's common sense, you have to do your logic. Big thing is that you wanna go to games, we're gonna press X, which is B, and there's two folders. This is my main folder here. But before we go into that, I'm gonna hit this arrow here, X, and this is my ROMs folder basically. And I'm gonna do another video discussing my ROMs folder and how you could add more games to this basically. So there's two main PSP folders. I have one that's labeled PSP and I have one that's labeled PSP minis. I'm gonna do the minis first. PSP minis for me is like these mini games. I've had like a ton of them. I think there's about 700 PSP mini games that I have. Um, there's a lot. It's kind of like um, short games. Very fun though, very arcade feeling. So again, these are PSP mini games. A lot of people are gonna really wanna play the main games like I wanted to, which was Grand Theft Auto. So just keep in mind that is one folder. We're gonna go back to that arrow. I'm gonna press X and I'm gonna go down to PSP. Okay, on this I've personally been playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So once you have your game, you're gonna press X to launch it. And again, it is thinking that it is a PSP, and as you can see, we are getting PSP. The only real big thing about PSP in this emulator is how do you exit or how do you save? So you could obviously play like normal, so you do have your analog here, um, you do have your D-pad, and then L1 and R1. That all works. I'm not sure. I think this was on the actual PSP. No, that doesn't do anything. But I could definitely play Grand Theft Auto. I could let go. I got to walk. This shakes the camera. So L2 and R2. L1 and R2. L1 and R1 do something too. So as you can see, it's just like this analog doesn't do anything. So the big thing now is, hey Vic, what do I do? How do I save? and such. So there is, I'm pretty sure, so in game, obviously there is ways to save the game, just like Grand Theft Auto is. You could go to the safe house and save, obviously. So there is that. But if you want, if you press in on the thumbstick on the left, it will bring up this menu. You could save the game here. This is save state. So you could either touch it or you might be able to just press X on it. As you can see, I just saved it. If I go back, 
I do have a save state here. So this is kind of like RetroArch screenshot. So you could do that and you could load it here. Just remember you do have to press in on the left thumbstick to get that to work. I'm done playing this game. I wanna play a different PSP game. You basically come here, again, I'm using the D-pad and I go to exit to menu. Now I'm back to the PSP menu. So the big thing really to kind of show off this emulator and this tutorial is how to access that menu and you simply press down on L3. That is how you get that menu to pop up. Now, as you can see, PSP just exited on me. I guess I, I shouldn't have loaded or I should have exited the game, but we'll load it again. You might get that. I don't want to sugarcoat stuff. You might have that happen. Holding down R1, I go to PSP. Letting PSP launch. And I'm just going to go back into Family Guy. So again, I'm going to go to Games and just try Family Guy again. That's another thing, keep in mind, I, I haven't tested all PSP games on this. I threw in a handful, figure like most popular titles, and they work or they don't. As you can see, we just got farther than when I had Grand Theft Auto loaded. So as you can see, I'm able to play this. If I'm done playing it, I hit the thumb in. I could either save the state or you could even play around with settings. I haven't touched any of the settings here. You want to do graphic settings. You might be able to make the system faster, graphics better. I haven't touched that. Do that at your own discretion. But if you are done, I'm going to just go back. Good. I'm going to exit. If you are done playing the emulator, just hit your home button. X close. So again, I just closed that game, but in reality, I closed PSP. There you guys have it, honestly. That is how you use tinfoil and PSP. Vic VP Game Case Arcades.